As you probably know, the ancient Egyptian civilization thrived around the Nile River Valley. Because of this river valley, agriculture boomed and population grew. Eventually, leaders emerged and took control of the entire civilization. We're going to take a closer look at a few of these rulers that controlled ancient Egypt during the Old, Middle, and New Kingdoms. During these three periods of stability and unity, the ancient Egyptian leaders, known as pharaohs, had many great accomplishments. During the Old Kingdom, pharaohs set up a central government and built great tombs for themselves. In the Middle Kingdom, great achievements in literature, art, and architecture were made. The New Kingdom, also known as Egypt's Golden Age, was a time of stability and peace. During all three periods, pharaohs held supreme power. They were the kings, military generals, and religious leaders of the land. They were in charge of everything. Pharaoh Khufu ruled from 2551 to 2528 BCE. He is responsible for the Great Pyramid at Giza. Not too much is known about Pharaoh Khufu. There are contradictory stories about his reign. It is generally accepted that Khufu helped establish the pharaoh as the person in charge in ancient Egypt. Much like pharaohs had followed him, Khufu declared himself a god. Khufu was, re was responsible for building the Great Pyramid of Giza, one of the wonders of the world. The Great Pyramid would be Khufu's final resting place, as his soul entered the afterlife. It took more than 2 million stone blocks and more than 20 years to complete. Pharaoh Senusret I ruled from 1971 to 1926 BCE. Art, literature, and architecture flourished during his reign. Since the pharaoh controlled gold, copper, and gem mines, craftspeople thrived with abundant resources. Jewelry was made with these precious metals and gems. Senusret also built and improved many temples, shrines, and religious monuments across the Egyptian civilization. The White Chapel is a prime example of his religious architectural achievements. The craftsmanship is evident in the detailed carvings all throughout the temple. Unfortunately, a later pharaoh took the White Chapel apart to use in his own monument. Archaeologists discovered the pieces of the White Chapel and reconstructed it. Pharaoh Hatshepsut ruled from 1473 to 1458 BCE. She was Egypt's first female ruler and she demanded the same respect as a male ruler. As pharaoh, she promoted trade with other countries. Her biggest trade expedition was to the African kingdom of Punt, which brought back many exotic goods. Hatshepsut's monument was built into a cliff above the Nile River. The entrance of this magnificent monument was graced by 200 sphinx statues. Inside the temple, the walls were decorated with carvings that detailed scenes from Hatshepsut's reign. The pharaoh Ramses II ruled from 1290 to 1224 BCE. This pharaoh wasn't nicknamed Ramses the Great for nothing. He was one of the most important rulers in Egyptian history. Here's Ramses by the numbers. He was made captain in the Egyptian army at age 10. He ruled for more than 60 years. He had more than 100 wives and more than 100 children. He also had hundreds of statues of himself erected all over Egypt. His temple complex at Abu Simbel is an excellent example of his impressive building projects. Four giant statues of himself guard the entrance to the main temple. The inside is just as, as, ma as amazing as the outside. The temple was also built so that twice a year the sun would shine down the hallway to light up the statues. Ramses is also one of the better preserved mummies ever discovered. There have been about 170 pharaohs to rule ancient Egypt. Here are a few notable leaders. Menes is considered the first because he united Upper and Lower Egypt and founded the first dynasty. Cleopatra VII is considered the last. Shortly after her reign, Egypt became a province of the Roman Empire. King Tutankhamun was the youngest. He is possibly the best known pharaoh today because his tomb was nearly intact when discovered. Akhenaten is known for turning ancient Egypt into a monotheistic religion. It returned to polytheistic soon after his death. There are quite a few other pharaohs, but I only have five minutes. So, that's all for now. Here are some sources. And some photo credits. Bye.